Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome to the Key Productive YouTube channel. If you are brand new and if you're a regular, welcome back. So actually, today's video, I am like halfway through filming my Evernote uh, Skillshare class, which is coming very soon. Hence the slightly modified layout. The Google Home at the back is not there regularly, um, you know, and, and the, the extra plant isn't there regularly. <laughs> so today what I'll be doing is actually continuing with Evernote, but I'll be passing over to Nora Conrad, who we, uh, I did a collaboration with probably about, maybe about six months ago now. But her video today is all about why she uses Evernote and going into some of the features, I really uh, enjoyed hearing how Nora uses Evernote, but I like to understand why. So hopefully today's video will give you lots and lots of value. Um, if you're brand new to her channel, subscribe to her. She does fantastic videos, very similar to the topics that I talk about, about going deeper with Todoist and how she uses them for work. A lot of practical advice as well from her experiences. So guys, um, do jump into that one. If you're yet to check out the new vlog as well, I'll put that in the description below too. But today we're gonna pass over to Nora. So thank you very much, Nora. Here we go. Hey everyone, my name is Nora Conrad. I am a productivity expert and a virtual assistant for small business owners. And I am back on Francesco's channel today doing another Evernote video. If you missed our first collaboration, we will post links down below to both of the videos. Um, but today I'm going to talk about why I use Evernote. There are obviously a ton of alternatives to Evernote, um, OneNote being kind of the most popular. Um, I've played around with Millinote, and there's about a thousand others that you can choose from that all have the same basic features of Evernote. But there's a couple of reasons that I just love Evernote above all of them, so we're going to dig into those today. First, I just want to say a quick thank you to Francesco for having me on his channel again. Um, he did a video for my channel as well, so we will link to that down below so you can check out his video um, and take a peek at my channel. Alright, so let's go ahead and dig into this. So one of the first reasons that I love using Evernote um, in comparison to some of its competitors is the Evernote Web Clipper. Now the Web Clipper is a quick Chrome add-on. You can add it on you know, to whatever browser you're using. I'm just using Chrome in this example. Um, but basically it makes it so, so easy for you to save articles, save a screenshot, save a link, a bookmark, whatever you want from a page that you're looking at. So whether it be a blog post, a YouTube video, or just a bookmark that you want to save for reference later on, Evernote makes it incredibly easy to save that data for later and easily file it away into your system. Um, the Evernote Web Clipper is one of those things that if you don't use it regularly, you don't understand how awesome of a tool it is. I love using this for saving articles to reference later on. When I'm doing research for blog posts or videos, I use the Web Clipper all the time. I just create a notebook for whatever I'm working on and then I save everything into that. Um, you can read a little bit more about Evernote on their website and how the Clipper works. Uh, but if you are interested, I really just recommend that you play around with it if you've never used it before. It's super easy to use, it's very intuitive, um, and it's such a helpful tool to use in the Evernote apps. The second thing I love about Evernote is the app itself. So I have a version downloaded onto my Mac and I use the web version here or there, um, you know, at work and things. But the app for your phone is so great and it's so easy to use. So I have a Google Pixel, that's why mine looks a little bit different, um, but there is just so many different features that you can use that work so well from the desktop to the phone. A lot of times, you know, apps that are kind of similar, their phone-based apps either just aren't quite there yet or they don't have desktop apps that are as robust as they should be for a desktop version. The different apps that Evernote have are pretty much the same across the board, so it's really easy to use easy to find the stuff that you've saved, and easy to create notes on the go. One of my favorite things about this is the ability to take photos. So if I take a photo of the notebook that's sitting next to me here, all I have to do is hold my phone up over it, it automatically figures out where the borders are, and it scans it into Evernote for me. And I will put a little screenshot here of what that looks like so you can see how nice and tidy it looks. Of course, this is in a spiral notebook, so it doesn't take like the best photo, 
But if you wanted to start to go paperless in your office, or if you just want to scan, you know, important documents in to save or to have quick access to, the Evernote app just does such a good job with that. It scans really beautifully. You don't need to buy a scanner and a printer and all that stuff. You can just use your phone, which is a huge time saver and something that me and my husband use all the time in order to, you know, cut down on paper here at the house. The third thing that I absolutely love about Evernote is the tagging ability. Now, I talked about tags in the last collaboration I did, um, so check that out for a little bit more in depth. But essentially, tagging just gives you a little bit extra kind of searchability. So you can put, put notes into notebooks, and you can put notebooks into stacks. But Evernote also allows you to add tags. And you can tier tags as long as you'd like. So if you want to have a tag within a tag within a tag, you know, five times down, you can do that. You can also add multiple tags to a single note so that it's really easy to find what you need. You can store notes in multiple places and it helps with the searchability in Evernote. So once you need to find, you know, a tax document from 2015, you can look up taxes or 2015 or, you know, whatever you save your tags as and you'll be able to find it really easily. Um, Evernote just has so much functionality within their system, but it's also so incredibly simple. It's really easy to set up. It's easy to use and it doesn't look cluttered or overwhelming once you get into it. There's a lot of other options on the market that are beautiful and work really well, just like Evernote but they have a little bit more of a learning curve. And in order to help you like get productive and save time and go paperless and all the things that Evernote does, having that simple design just really makes it stand out from all of its competition. So now that we've talked about why I use Evernote over the competition, I wanna talk about how I use Evernote, kind of the uses for it. So one of the major things that I use it for is to go paperless. Um, I have forced my boss into doing this as well, Basically, we scan any paperwork that we would normally save into a file folder or, you know, a file cabinet, and we save it into Evernote instead. This is so helpful, especially in a small business setting or even in your home if you just have bills and mail and things like that. Scanning everything into Evernote just gives you a little bit of an extra backup if you are keeping both the paper copy and the digital copy. But it also makes it so much easier to find later on, especially if you're a small business and you have a lot of paperwork. I also really love using Evernote for blog post ideas. So I have a small business and I am just creating a lot of content, but I don't always have the full idea ready to go into a blog post. So I use Evernote to outline ideas, to save research, like I talked about before, um, to go through and just slowly start to build content over time. Evernote is also a resource library for me. Um, anytime I come across a really good post, maybe a great TED talk or just some sort of, you know, new habit I want to form or anything like that, I can save it into Evernote and reference it later. It's just a really great library for me now because anytime I have, you know, a question about maybe I need some more ideas for blog posts, I can type in blog post ideas and I have a bunch of resources that I've saved over the years already stored into Evernote for me so I don't have to go hunting down on the web. I can kind of search in a library that I've already curated for myself with things that I know are useful to me. So it works in so many different aspects. You can use this as a student. You can take your school notes in here. You can use it as a parent to sort all of your kids' activities. You can use it as a small business owner or just as a single person, you know, just trying to keep organized. No matter what your stage in life is, Evernote probably has something for you. You just have to build the system up to what you need it to be. All right, you guys, I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any crazy uses um, or crazy things that you do in Evernote, let us know in the comments because I like hearing like new ideas for how to use it. Thank you so much to Francesco for having me on his channel again and make sure you guys check out his video as well. We'll see you next time. Have a great one.